love and friends and family. It's all about sharing a feast and cheers. It's always been happy because the children are dear. It's all about peace every time of the year. If only I could see your face again. Behind the screen at the other end. If only we could party, kick back your boots, just let me. It's all about family. It's all about TMC. What? It's all about family. Don't fret, don't sweat. You know what it is, cause you know, and I know we'll be together again. We'll be together. The new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees all things new. I'm Coach Irwin Ursua and I'm streaming live from Quezon City. Good evening. Welcome to Win Within on TNC. Good evening, winners. Welcome again to Win Within here on TNC. It's four days before 2023. So are you ready already to face the new year? So nakagawa na ba kayo ng mga, <clears throat> sabi nila, New Year's resolution? But um, actually, me, um, New Year's resolution doesn't work for me. So I don't know if it does work for you. But I know most of the people, sabi nga nila, um, a certain like a uh, 20% plus percentage on the first week um they don't do it anymore and in fact um 40 to 50 to 60% doesn't do, don't do it after um before the end of the month or before the end of january so i guess what's important is still we do our goal setting and that's most important that's what i do goal setting for 2023 so four days to go you can still do your goal setting and Actually, you, 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 you won't be late. You can still do it in the first or second week of, um, of 
January. Um, in fact, I have a program for that. I will mention it later on. So again, good evening, winners. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, for those who are going to watch and replay, and it's um, what? Um, have a good day. It's a good day. I I'm sure it will be a good day. Um, holidays are still um, in, in, in the corner. And um, I know maraming marami pa rin dyan nasa holiday because I think most, some companies, um, they already cut their, ano, their operations last week pa or some actually cut earlier. I mean, there are still companies that, of course, definitely they um, ano, um, work right now. But I'm sure um, the coming, especially um, on Friday, um, holiday na. So medyo mahaba and up to the, the 2nd of January here in the Philippines. I guess in abroad, hopefully it's also almost also like that. So good day, good day to you all to all of you. So I'm very um happy and glad tonight because it's actually the our last episode for 2022. So I'm very thankful for all those who've joined me for ses for season three so far. And um, of course, um belated Merry Christmas again to everybody. And um and Okay, in, in, in four more days, we'll be welcoming the new year. Okay, so our epi title episode for tonight's Win More in Life by Giving Value to Yourself so you can give more value to others. And that's important no? because um, especially um, papasok na tayo ng bagong year, we really need to know and we really need to um, know our value, our self-worth, di ba? Sabi nga nila, if you, don't believe your, if you don't believe in yourself, who will believe? Who will believe you? Diba? So, dapat ikaw pa lang, sa'yo pa lang, within you, 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 you already know your self-worth. It's so that you can also channel this value to others. Okay, with that, we have two valuable and two premium freelancers na guest tonight. Okay? They are two premium freelancers, mind you, here in the Philippines. And they really, really um, have very, very valuable high value and premium clients at the same time okay so without further ado i'll introduce already my, our two premium freelancer guests okay and they are actually uh, the recent they are recently um speakers of the um, just uh, finished tribe x event for freelancers last um november Yon, last november okay first i would like to call of course uh, miss peachy galgo Okay, of Go Creatives, Creative Director and Strategist. And of course, I would like to also call Mr. Um, our next guest is Mr. Paul Gitan, owner of High Street Media and Hero Funnels Premium, co-CEO and founder. Okay, so let's welcome our guest, Paul and Pichi. Hello, hello, Paul. Hello, Pichi. What's up? What's up? Good evening. Hello, hello. Happy holidays. Hello, hello. Merry Christmas, Beauty everyone. Beauty Dog Before the Beast, Paul. So, Pichi, how are you? So, saan tayo nagsistream, Pichi? Pakilala naman tayo dyan. Hello, everyone. My name is Pichi. So, I'm streaming from Cebu. So, yun lang. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for coming here today. Happy Even though naka-holiday break ang iba. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, how about yeah, you? I'm currently, currently situated sa may Bacor here. Uh, Bacor. I think uh, I'll be here for a while. Uh, before we move back to Manila, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll so, see. So imagine, guys, uh, um, we are all scattered. <laughs> I mean, I'm here in Quezon City. Paul is in Bacoor, so that's already an, an hour, almost an hour. Hindi naman, mga 30, 30 to 45 minutes to Manila, from Manila, or from Quezon City, mga one hour. And then Peachy yeah. is from Cebu, so I need uh, a plane ticket to go to Peachy if I, <laughs> if I want to visit Peachy. So yun lang. So that is actually the ano, um, that is actually the power of internet, di ba? Sabi nga, the great equalizer. Yan. So let's start the ball rolling. Sabi nga, ang episode nga natin is di ba, giving value to yourself so that you can give more value to others. And of course, and syempre, paano ba tayo mag, magkakaroon ng um, value to others kung hindi natin i-value yung sarili natin? So, bakit, but first, I would like to know more about... Um, Paul and Peach. Actually, um, of course, they are um, the speakers in the Tribe X event that happened last November 6. And of course, para sa ating audience winners, our we call our audience winners. Um, I would like, of course, uh, them to know more about you. So um, this time, naman the beast before the beauty. Paul, kwento mo naman. Um, what what are your? I think you have two companies that you're handling. Um, 
High Street Media and Hero Funnel. So can you share um, what each uh, company does or industry does it participate? So how does it differ from one each, uh, from each other? Yeah, sure. Kailan uh, tumawag ng beast, ha? <laughs> well, uh, some of it's beauty, the yeah. beauty and the beast. <laughs> Tornitito, beast mode naman, beast mode, right? Ayan, beast, beast mode, mode. So, ayan, beast mode. Pag work, uh, beast mode tayo. Yeah, naka-beast mode tayo all the time. Mga hustler. So, uh, yeah, uh, I currently uh, have uh, two companies. Uh, uh, isa is yung uh, local agency with a partner. Uh, we kind of work with uh, local businesses. Uh, we handle uh, social media marketing, mainly yung branding, tsaka yung mga uh, marketing uh, assets like website funnels and all that and it's in hero funnels uh, it's just for my uh, personal uh, freelancing business uh, it's mainly focused uh, on providing a uh, premium brand design for high ticket coaches so dito naman uh, mga clients dito is uh, more on from from abroad uh, us canada yeah. mga, mga first tier uh, countries uh, mga tier one countries and uh, Mga high ticket coaches yung uh, mga pinapokus ko dito. So uh, I provide uh, premium design, high quality design, uh, uh, creative services, uh, funnels, website, um, providing them ano, uh, yung high perceived value dun sa may brand nila. So that's, uh, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, that's great, that's great. So yun. Um, ako, nandun pala ako, Paul, sa ticket eh. Siguro darating na rin ako sa high. Huwag kang magala. Pag dumating na ako <laughs> sa high, I know who to call to. Metal mo na lang yung ticket na yan. Saan ba yan? Sa may DMV? <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, so, yun, so, yun. <laughs> so, Pichi, how about you? So, go creatives. You're the creative director and strategist. Yes. So, yun. Can you yes, share so... all um, our viewers kung ano yung go creative? Okay, so Go Creative Sir Irwin is a, an independent, independent agency. So we focus on helping e-commerce businesses, most especially supplement brands, to with brand strategy and design. So yung value nila, um, we perceive it or we show it to their audience through different, um, through their different platforms. So let's say, uh, strategy coming from uh, copywriting, strategy for their marketing, strategy for their fulfillment, for their operations. Everything we undergo doing sa brand strategy. So yung brand strategy is something that most people don't focus to, most especially if they're uh, most especially for startups. Uh, mm -hmm. they hop on uh, design agad, so they don't think any strategy behind their brands. So yeah. that's the value that we're giving in our agency. So yeah, and that's me in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Actually, I I know no, I like what you said, um, Pichino, you so branding. Like sometimes, cause um, other I know other startups, parang ah, I want to put up this kind of business, yeah. parang ganon. Yeah. But. Sim simply said na parang yun nga, di ba? Parang they just want to jump in. Pero, kumbaga, um, they, they, ano, they, I would say, they they forget, they forget na parang there's also parang a nitty-gritty, there's branding, yes. di ba? Parang, yes. kumbaga, ano yan eh, it, they, they should not only think of short term of selling, but uh, the long term of knowing their brand or parang yung brand um, persona, their brand yes. image. Yeah, and, so you and know, part, Sir Erwin, of answering basically the prob uh, the the solution to the problem. Yep. Because uh, most businesses they try to uh oh, I'm going to create this product because this I know it will sell in the market, but uh, does this does this solve a specific problem? Does this yes, solve no. a specific market? So yeah, that's yeah. what we're trying Sim to do in that's true, that's true. Because yeah. um Simply lang naman ang ano eh, simply lang naman ang business eh, di ba? Sabi nga, di ba? If there's a problem, there's a solution, and if yeah. you can give that solution, you already have. Actually, yun yung value actually na binibigay nga natin, yeah. di ba? That's already the value that we give. If we actually um, give the solution. Think so, Paul, ano yung usually mga ano ba? Ano ba mga usually pain points ng mga ano? Client natin, high ticket coaches. Yan. Para... Ready na ako pagdating ng araw, pare. <laughs> well, uh, 
there, there's uh, a um, there, 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 there quite a number of no, uh, problems na no, pagdating sa no, uh, business uh, sa may coaching uh, space naman uh, especially pag uh, mga high ticket uh, one of the problem or issue that I've, uh, I've seen na uh, it's not really addressed uh, a lot uh, where I see the opportunity is yung uh, high perceived value uh, which means mm-hmm. that um, if you're if you're a thought leader or authority then uh, your brand identity or brand um, brand personality should speak for yourself uh, through your visual um, that ng ginagawa mo online right uh, it's very important yung visual because uh, 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 whether we like it or not uh, we judge book by its cover right so uh, if yep. you are if you if you buy um, uh, expensive uh, clothing jewelry and all that stuff uh, to to show that uh, you're someone who is, uh, you know, uh, successful uh, and uh, authority or leader, then why why don't you do it when you show your branding uh, online in the marketplace, right? So, uh, may mga high ticket na they generate uh, hundred millions of uh, dollars uh, with their business, but uh, when I look at their website, their funnel, their uh, brand assets. Uh, uh, it doesn't really kind of um, uh, on par dun sa quality ng value that they bring uh, content-wise. So that's where I see the opportunity, opportunity right? So uh, I, w- I want to provide that uh, that image, visual image mm-hmm. for uh, high-ticket coaches, uh, so that na once uh, yung audience nila they 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 land on their website, their funnel, or social media pages uh right off the bat uh they would perceive uh that uh person or that coach as an authority so it's it's more like a perception management right so uh if you see um high quality um design brand uh we usually kind of uh, uh assume especially if we we don't know anything about the brand right so uh, ads, we visit the website and uh Pag nakita natin na super high quality yung yung ano yung yung website yung design uh, we kind of assume kagad na this must be a uh, a big brand right uh, this must yeah. be a uh, leader in the space so Sorry. even though we don't have enough evidence to support it right but that, that's a psychological bias that we all wired to right so uh, yeah. the same thing uh, when it comes to ano uh, yung in reality right and I think that uh, we see around us you know, kung may nakita tayong uh, tao na naka iPhone 14, we would assume na big time to, right? So, <laughs> oh, mayaman to. Even though we don't know uh, the, the facts, maybe na hiniram niya lang yun, or maybe baka, uh, you know, uh, inisnatch niya lang yun, or inutang niya lang yun. So, the same thing when we see people or someone uh, who wear Rolex, right? So, we kind of attach that... Uh, that value, that high perceived value, that meaning to certain individual. When we see those things, or na we na meron sila, right? That that they use. So those the same principle that I kind of applied dun sa may uh, what I do as a uh, as a creative designer. So dun ako mismo na focus mismo sa may perceived value. Na. I want uh, I want to provide that uh, high perceived value for any coaches who want to be perceive as a uh, one of the top uh in the game or one uh, one of the thought leaders in the space uh, uh, that's what i provide so yeah it's great uh kumbaga, ano, um subject matter expert sila they're the subject matter expert and at the same time they are perceived not only as a subject matter expert but the premium diba? the top one of the top premium yeah. sub- subject matter mm-hmm. expert and that's good because um, diba sa, for example, yung mga, yan, yung mga signature brands nga, as you've said, na parang, I remember there's this movie that I watched recently, um, yung Triangle of Sadness, actually may Filipina na actress doon, na parang sabi ng photographer doon sa mga models, Balenciaga. So pag Balenciaga, kailangan medyo, ano, uh, yung look nila is more elegant, medyo masungit pa nga, parang ganoon. Pag sinabi ng, eh, pag sinabi namang, ano, H&M, kailangan nakangiti sila, gano'n. So, ibig kasi, 
yun yung ano eh, kumbaga, yun yung naalala ko when you were, um, when you are, when you were um, explaining, no? Na parang, dapat merong certain sophistication, di ba? It na, 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 na ma-establish pa na yung, yung, ano, yung, yung ginagawa mo. I mean, yung services na binibigay mo dun sa kanila. So, para, mas, para nga, when they when their clients see them yun yung yun yung dating na parang ah for example eto pala yung ano subject matter expert or coach na dapat kong pinupuntahan especially for um uh, for family if kung family coach siya so parang ganun so parang siya yung yeah. dapat kong pupuntahan because eh ano kitang kita oh parang ganun so ang galing galing exactly. about the key ganun anong ano mutual pain points naman ng mga clients natin nasa e-commerce yeah uh, actually it's the same thing Parang they want to pers- uh, they want their audience to perceive na ganito sila but they don't hindi siya nagre-reflect doon mm-hmm. sa website nila or social media they don't have any consistency and clarity on what they're doing tapos there are businesses kasi uh, in the middle of the line when they're trying to level up their brands na they want to they want to price more or they want to gauge into a bigger audience they're having a hard time how they're going to uh, Um, connect with those people. So just with what you're saying kanina, Sir Erwin, that when we're going to talk about Balenciaga, uh, there's a sense of sophistication. If we're going to talk about H&M, yung parang uh, free-spirited, happy. Yeah, free-spirited. Yeah. How they are going to share that emotion dun sa brand nera and create an emotional connection with the audience because in reality, we purchase products based on emotions. So yun yun eh. How are we going to create that um, sense of connection with your audience na they're going to buy from you? So no hard selling based on the copywriting, the story, everything. So basically the main problem is consistency and clarity. And yes, again, how we are going to give that value of the nung products, yeah. ng e-commerce yeah. products dun sa audience. Why is this important for them? Why are they going to buy? Ganun. So yun. Yeah. Yeah, galing, di ba? So, kitang-kita. Um, um, from what both of you said, actually, um, you dig deeper. Eh. You, kaya nga, I was asking, asking about pain points because, of course, um, once you know the problem, you can actually give the value that your client needs. And kitang-kita naman, your answer is na you are really ano, um, extending um, your knowledge and wisdom to them in order na mas mag-scale up or mag-level up yung businesses nila. And that's important. And saying so, I'm sure um, you guys um, have, ano, have, uh, kumbaga, done, ano, done your research, done your own um, learnings para to give value to yourself din, syempre, di ba? So, let's, yeah. ano muna, ano muna tayo, backtrack ng konti. Before you put up your businesses, ano yung, ano natin, ano yung mga background natin? Uh, Paul, Uh, marami ako naging background. Uh, sa mga gusto magsimula. Yes, yeah, sir. Kung, <laughs> kung saan yung pinaka... Okay. <laughs> Hanggat kaya. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a college dropout. Uh, okay. One sim lang ako sa, ano, uh, sa, may, sa may college. And um, during that time, uh, wala, I, I don't see talaga yung possibility na kumita ng malaki, maging umaman. Uh, medyo malabo na sa akin. Yun because uh, I, I grew up sa may province. So, Uh, laking buntok talaga ako. So, hanggang mag-high school. Pagka-college ko dito ako, uh, but once same lang sa college, then I drop out. Then, nag-itampay ako for, for quite a long time. Uh, first job ko uh, was uh, as a service crew sa so my Jollibee. Di ko rin tinapos. After three months, parang nagkasakit ako. Di ko kinaya. So, uh, I resigned. And then, uh, after that, uh, I tried yung sa so my KFC naman. Uh, Gladly, natapos ko after six months yung contract. Then after that, naging tambay ulit. Um, and then uh, nagkaroon ng break sa may, uh, sa may security <laughs> space. I, uh, I used to be a security guard uh, for about two years. Yes, <laughs> dami akong napwestuhan. So uh, meron sa mall, meron sa may gym, uh, condominium, support. <laughs> so uh, it was a... Uh, uh, It was an okay experience, but sabi ko nga na mabubulok utak ko dito. Sabi ko nga na kasi wala akong ginagawa. Papasok ko lang ako para tumambay, then uuwi na. And so, uh, uh, I, I, I quit after uh, two years. Di na ako nag ng license ko. Then after that, uh, I tried yung real estate uh, selling as a real estate agent. Kasi uh, we, 
uh, we had a neighbor na nasa real estate so parang nagpatulong ako but uh, it didn't work out for me then after a couple of months wala ako na benta parang yon then uh, wala rin then after that um uh, na- pumunta ako sa may tita ko sa may sa may Mindanao sa may sa may Marawi uh, hopefully magkaroon ng parang kasi yung dream ko dati noon parang ano lang eh magkaroon ng parang Photoshop yung alam mo yung mga rush ID na ganoon tapos yung mga mm-hmm. edit edit sa uh, mga picture so yun lang yung pinaka pinaka dream business ko during that time and uh, eh yung tita ko may computer shop sa may ano uh, sa may Marawi and uh, tinay ko na pumunta ron uh, I was promised na to have my own uh, Photoshop oh. there pero after six months wala nang wala nang yari nagbantay lang ako ng grocery doon so <laughs> so then after that uh, sabi ko uh, balik ako sa Manila tignan ko kung mayroong opportunity then doon uh, pagbalik sa Manila uh, I tried to apply sa my DPO uh, and then uh, after so many turn downs you know uh, I almost uh, gave up uh, but uh, luckily uh, meron akong pinsan sa may ano uh, sa, isa, sa, may, sa may isang company sa may BPO and uh, medyo malaki siya sa may HR so medyo napasok niya ako doon then uh, yeah doon ako medyo tumagal uh, tumagal ako ng two years sa isang company then uh, as a service uh, customer service associate uh, and then uh, lumipat ako ng another company uh, as a technical support uh, and then habang doon ako sa may technical support, uh, I was uh, already doing yung freelancing on a side uh, as a partner. So, kasi uh, it was it was kind of blessing in this guys. Uh, kasi sa may doon sa may ano sa may call center, merong nagdadala na quality assurance, right? So, uh, doon sa amin pagka na champo ang kana ano na sa quality assurance, imo monitor nila for for week titingnan lang kung may pagbabago o improvement. So, I was one of the ano, uh, agents na na na-chempuan. So, uh minoitro for weeks tapos kino-coach ako. Uh minsan na uh, umo okay tapos ibang call, mas maraming sablay kasi sinasabi nila parang tinatamad ka palagi mag-call, ha? wala ang gana, wala ang enthusiasm, mm-hmm. parang wala ang uh, interest kumulong. So, after a few weeks, uh, parang sumuko na sila. <laughs> So, sabi nga noon, lipat ka na lang namin sa may chat, <laughs> sa may chat support, non-voice. So, parang nang, nang ano, uh, nalumo ako, uh, nalita ako sa sarili ko because uh, during that time, mas malaki yung sahod ng voice eh, di ba, nung sa may call, kaysa sa may chat. So, bumaba yung sahod ko and uh, back then, uh, I have two kids na and uh, yung mm-hmm. wife ko is a full-time wife. So, ako lang yung breadwinner. So, yun na panginaan ako nalo, but after a while, uh, na-enjoy ko yung chat support and uh, doon ako nagkaroon ng time na isabay yung freelancing. Kasi yung isa sa mga uh, katrabaho doon, in- introduce niya ako sa my odesk.com, which is uh, yung upwork na ngayon. So sabi niya, try mo tong odesk uh, kung baka pwede ang kumita. So tinaray ko uh, and during that time, medyo marunong na rin ako mag, ano, mag-design, mag-web design. So <laughs> tinaray ko siya, uh, nag-chat Ah, uh, charge ako ng $5 uh, an hour, right? Mm-hmm. So pag, kasi may mga bidding bidding pa yun eh. So so ako ako pala yung pinakamababa mag-bid para ako yung mm-hmm. ma, ma-award sa akin yung project na yun. Then uh, after a while, uh I uh nakapag-ipon ako ng ano, ng nung fund. Kala ko uh skeptic pa ako nung una eh. So may naka-ipon ako ng $500 after a couple of months. Then, tinaray ko na i-withdraw, i- i- kung totoo nga. So, winaray ko sa may bank account ko, sa ATM. Okay naman siya. Sabi ko, oh, gumana. Sabi ko, so, medyo na-motivate ako na, ano, na going, going ulit. So, inulit-ulit ko yun. So, tatry ko nga kung makakakuha ko ng ano, uh, another $500. So, after nung ano, um, second ano, attempt, yun, nakakuha ko ng $500. Kasi, di na ako nagbe-break nun eh. Diba sa call center, may tatlong breaks eh. Merong yung uh-huh dalawang 15 minute breaks for uh-huh. coffee break or yosi break tapos isang one hour lunch break so hindi na ako nagbe-break noon so yung ginagawa ko lang talaga yung ano uh, yung project for clients and then yung bidding sa may upwork mm-hmm. apply apply ng mga ano ng mga job uh, post doon mm-hmm. and then uh, after noon uh, yun second 500 dollars uh, i was so ecstatic sabi ng ganoon na uh, paano kaya kung i-full time ko to sabi ng <laughs> 
Then uh, after that, uh, sabi ko no na uh, tinry ko na ano uh, na mag LOA, leave of absence for 30 days. Sabi ko titingnan ko kung papatay sa akin ko na ito. Uh, sabi ko ganoon. And then uh, kung hatawin ko. So hindi siya medyo hindi siya risky kasi uh, from inside out looking in, uh, kala ng iba risky ang ginawa ko kasi ako lang yung pre tapos nag full time gagad daw. Right? Pero hindi actually. Uh, during that time may mga Uh, repeat clients na ako noon. And then, uh, meron na akong kind of a runway for two to three months. Na mm-hmm. sabi ko noon, pagka nag-libo uh, ba absence ako, tinaray ko to di gumana. Okay lang kasi pwede naman ako bumalik. Di pa naman ako resign. Eh. <laughs> so, right. so, yun. After 30 days, uh, I found out na dumobli yung kinita ko uh, uh, compared dun sa may uh, call center. So, right mm-hmm. after that, uh, bumalik ako. Uh, sabi ko noon, uh, nag-immediate resign na ako. So, doon nagsimula yung journey ko as a full-time pre- freelancer. And uh, it wasn't easy at the beginning. It was uh, it was tough. Uh, there are uh, for the few, first few months, uh, there were times that I was, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, contemplating to go back to my corporate world because there's no kind of uh, assurance. There's uncertainty about mm-hmm. income. Mm-hmm. Right? So sometimes, uh, meron, sometimes wala. But mm-hmm. uh, I kind of uh, continue to, you know, uh, build my skill, yeah. uh, increase my value, para. Um, you know, para makapag-charge ng mas malaki, makapag- makakuha ng kliyente. So, that's where I started. So, nagtuloy-tuloy yun and uh, uh, hopefully, uh, luckily, hindi pa rin ako mabalik sa mayan. No? <laughs> Corporate <board. laughs> Okay. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Pichi, how about you? Um, yes. ano natin? Ang ganda ng journey ni ano, ang ganda ng yes. journey ni uh, Paul, eh, di ba? Uh, From uh, ano? Uh, Totoo, oh, amazed na amazed ako dun sa Erwin nung na, narinig ko yung story niya, yung first time oh, namin. Oo, ako din. Yeah, diba? Ito si Sir oh, yeah. Paul. Ako yung Pichi. Parang ano eh, parang, parang naririnig ko rin si Chief John eh. <laughs> parang ganyan eh. Mm, Oo. Oh, so, Pichi, ako ikaw? Naman, ako naman, ano ba? I actually graduated uh, fine arts from UP. So, way, eh, hindi ko na sasabihin yung year. So, after graduating, <laughs> mag, nagkaroon ng mga ng mga hiccups kasi parang after you graduate yung feeling na oh eh, gusto kong mag-person nito gusto kong maging ganito gusto kong maging ganyan tapos parang ang dami-dami mong gustong gawin and you end up jumping from one job to the other to figure out ano ba yung gusto mong gawin then mm-hmm. i was able to work on a BPO company so hindi siya hindi siya call center but we're doing editing work photo editing work for clients tapos yun yung naging job ko, naging, yun yung first, first job ko. So editing, Christmas cards, invitation cards, everything invitation for clients. Tapos naging quality assurance ako dun. So after dun na parang, bakit parang ang repetitive naman ng trabaho ko? Bakit parang everyday parang ganito lang pa ulit-ulit yung ginagawa? So sabi ko, I wanted to go back into designing. Pero in my, yung industry kasi na I revolved in, yung product design ko, which I've graduated in, hindi siya gaanong kalakihang industry dito sa Cebu. When we are going to talk about product design, yung immediate uh, thought talaga na pumapasok is furniture design, which mm-hmm. is napipili mo lang kung sino yung pwede mong mapagtrabahuan dito. So, yun. Yun yung, nag, I jump into a, an NGO. So, it is a, a, a local NGO. Tapos, we focus on weaving mga weave fabrics. But the problem then at that time was the creative freedom. So, it, it didn't have any creative freedom. So, naging tambay ako after. I resigned, naging tambay ako. Parang, I contemplated ano ba yung gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko. So, looking back, mga ilang year, I, mga, I think, college ata ako or starting to get college, one of my dreams is to be uh, makapasok ng PMA. Unfortunately, yeah. noong time na ng exam, hindi ako nakapag-exam kasi kuno lang ako sa height. So, kuno lang ako sa height. So, parang at that time, nung nag, 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 naging tambay ako, sabi ko, uh, gusto kong something that would, ha- yung parang adrenaline rush. Tapos mm-hmm. at that time, we're having problems with yung mga health problems with the family members, ganun. Tapos yung mama ko kasi, she's a, a PWD. And noong time din na yun, parang contemplate ako, what if may mangyari sa nanay ko, tapos wala akong magawa. So, yun yung parang naging uh, motivating force ko to pursue uh, the the healthcare industry. So, naging paramedic ako for three years. So, I, I am an ambulance crew. 
So I help provide patients, like treat patients, heart problems, cardiac arrest, ganun. So yun yung naging a big chunk of my employment life dun siya nag around. So after nun, um, ito na, COVID na. So at that time, I think uh, January 2019 ba yun, yung parang first outbreak of COVID. Tapos sabi nila, oh, nandito na sa Cebu. So hindi ko iniisip na by, the, by March is magla-lockdown na. Pero mm-hmm. nakapag-resign na ako nung February, February 14. Ah, okay. Sakto. Nakapag-resign <laughs> ako kasi parang at that time, sabi ko, parang bitch, mag, mag-late 20s ka na. Saan ka ba pupunta? Like parang hmm. dito ka, ay parang ayaw-ayaw mo namang bumalik sa design, ganun. So yun, I tried my luck. Tapos had a hard time getting job. So Doon, doon sa post ko, sabi ko na I've applied for 20 plus jobs. Kahit kum laude ka pa, kahit saan ka graduate, it doesn't matter. Ipapasok ka na sa corporate world. Mahirap mm-hmm. siyang pasukan. So, yun. Um, na, I, I was rejected for a lot of times. Nahirapan na ako mag-apply na trabaho. Then kasi yung experience ko, a big chunk of my employment life, doon nga nagparamedic ako. So, saan ba yung design doon? Wala. So, until may isa akong... Um, uh, kasama ko sa football noon, parang she invited me to their uh, digital agency. So, doon na-open up yung yung isipan ko na, ah, may digital agency, keme-keme pala. May ganito palang industry. May ganito palang world. Tapos, yun. Doon na nag-start na, nag-start ako with online work. So, I've been doing full-time work online. Then, I tried my luck with freelancing. Kasi sabi ko, COVID naman, nasa bahay lang naman ako. Gusto ko ng, gusto ko ng extra income. So, okay. yun. Tinry ko lang. Then, I was able to, first month or first three months, I was able to hit my uh, six-digit income. Pero, the, ang nangyari din dun, kasi I, I wasn't yet enrolled to Tribe. So, I was just trying my luck. So, ang nangyari is, hey, parang hindi na ako natutulog. So, parang yung tulog mo, two to two hours lang. Kasi parang, wow, I'm so driven with money. Bah- bah- bahala na hindi ako matulog. Go lang ng go kasi may pera. So, yun yung nangyari. Ang nangyari, na burn out ako. So, I stopped. I stopped doing any sidelines. Yung side things, mm-hmm. yung freelancing. I stopped it. Sabi ko, focus ka lang into one. So, yeah. not until yung nangyari. Ito yung kasi yung nangyari sa yung previous job, yung online work job. Uh, kailangan na nilang i-monitor yung screen namin. Tapos, kailangan mo nang mag-clock in, mag... mag, yeah. mag uh, ayaw ko nang ganun. Kasi parang, na-disrupt yung creative freedom mo eh. So, Correct. yun, sabi ko. You're pressured. Uh, you're pressured uh, eh. Uh, sabi ko, ay, parang, ito na yung sign. So, nag-stop ako. Tapos, someone from the tribe, a friend of mine, nakasama ko din sa sa, sa job na yun. Sabi niya, itrim mo yung, itrim yung tribe. Ganun. So, yun. Doon na. Uh, nag-full-time freelance ako, pero wala akong backup. So, yun yung naging problem ko dun. Pero, I was able to get my first premium client first month ko pa lang dun sa tribe. So, yun wow. yung pinaka-biggest. Galing, galing. Yun lang. Yay! Okay, so thank you, thank you, no, for sharing your journey um, before kayo nag-freelancing. And um, ito, hanging question na parang next, uh, when, when we come back after our break, to, before, uh, when we say thank you to our sponsors, um, how did you land it in, y- in your niche? Kasi, yes, freelancing, pero di ba, you have, you have your niche na right now eh. So, yun. So, you'll answer that question when we come back. Let's say thank you first to our sponsors. See you um, after the break. We're pitch. Okay, so of course for wellness is the time of essence of celebration, Celergen of Switzerland. That's the best one of the best supplements that you'll ever take, no? Because sabi nga, Celergen Celergen of Switzerland is your edge in everyday life, okay? And of course, for your creative marketing communication needs, VPF, they work beyond the usual.
ATN. So for ATNC shows, the new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on screen. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. You can watch, and of course, <clears throat> you can watch Win Within on TNC. You can watch Win Within on TNC every Wednesday night. 7.30 p.m. Philippine time. And you can watch live or on replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us on IG. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just search hashtag TNC now for sponsorship. Please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a DM. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them for you. And of course, if you want to look good and feel great again this 2023, so new year, new beginnings, prioritize your health and wellness starting this 2023. Say yes to a healthy and happy aging. So we, um, of course, you do that by taking Celergen Switzerland, one of the best supplements that you're going to take, especially if you want to have a healthy and well 2023. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our guest, Paul and Pichi. Hello, hello. Paul and Pichi, yan, may hanging question ako kanina. So this time naman, how did you ano, how did you land it in your niche, no? Kasi ang ganda, um you know what kung bakit din ano, kung bakit then you give um high value um to your clients, it's because also Ang dami yung experiences in life eh. The, the mere fact that you you tell me about your life journey before landing um, into freelancing, that those experiences actually parang ano eh, um, kumbaga deepen, ano eh, deepen yung experiences nyo, deepen yung life, life ano nyo eh. Parang it adds value every time eh, di ba? In, in ano nga, in, in the book Atomic um, Habits, di ba? So parang you, evolve, parang you improve 1% per day. So yun yung nangyari sa inyo eh. You were in, kada lipat nyo, you improve and you improve and you improve. And that actually parang made you yung self-worth nyo, yung value nyo, lalong tumaas because yun yung ano, nagawa nun. Kung baga, naging mature kayo in handling things, naging mature in handling your career. And that's, yun yung nacha-channel natin sa, ano, sa mga clients nyo. Kaya hi, maganda yung value na nabibigay nyo. So yun, um, with your niche, at paano tayo na land, Paul? Yeah, uh, it took me a while before I, you know, I got into a uh, coaching uh, space uh, niche. Uh, just like uh, everyone else, uh, when they started out, sa may freelancing, um, marami din akong tinaray ng mga, ano, uh, ng mga skill, meron ding ibang market. So, uh, until, uh, you know, uh, just like uh, Peachy uh, got into Tribe, uh, doon ko nakita yung uh, value ng niching down, which is uh, focusing on one specific niche and uh, build a name in that small space, be the go-to person when it comes to the service that you provide, then uh, for you to be able to charge more because uh, yung perceived value, if they see you as a specialist or a authority or an ex expert, is uh, yeah, um, mas mataas, right? Kasi uh, if you if you if you if you work as a generalist, na marami kang service na pino provide, and that's uh, what how you market yourself, then tendency is uh, uh your perceived value is very low, right? Uh, and you're and aside from that, you're competing against uh yung mga uh big dogs or big players in the space because uh most of the uh service providers, uh, especially some creative, uh, if you're uh yung mga big players, ito yung mga ano na, yung mga agency. Right now, they have already team in place, process in place. Uh, they can deliver your service very fast, and they can uh, play by lowering lowering their price, your profit margin margin nila. Because uh, they can do that because uh, they play by volume, right? So uh, if you're starting out, lalo na pagikolom ng isa, 
uh, you are a uh, one man team, you you can't beat that, right? So uh, you can't afford to uh, uh, you're not able to handle uh, multiple clients at the same time, sampu, bente, right? Mm -hmm. uh, while charging very low price to compete yeah. with the yeah. big players. So, uh, and uh, uh, what I realized was that the, the wisest thing to do if you're starting out as a freelancer and kola magisa is to um, go very narrow niche, okay? Yeah. To eliminate yeah. that competition. Uh, because uh, when you go narrow and you specialize in one thing, okay? Uh, although na yung market mulilit, but still that very small niche that's still composed of hundreds of thousands of businesses. For example, uh, pediatric dentistry, right? So uh, it's very specific niche, pero uh, how many pediatric dental uh, businesses around the world, right? Correct. Maybe uh, hundred thousands, right? And you don't need them all, right? Yeah. You just need a few of them. <laughs> Dalawa, tatlo that are willing to pay you a premium price mm -hmm. uh, at kung retainer pa yan. It's good. You're uh, you're on your way up to six figure uh, a month income, de ba? And uh, yun lang kailangan mong gawin as a starting up. And from there, you can expand, uh, uh, scale by uh, you know uh, um, uh, scaling your target market. Mm -hmm. So yun yung ano? Uh, uh, yung strategy nag nag make sense akin. And what I also advise to my mga students uh, sa my uh, training program ko na pick a specific niche. Okay, ja uh, and uh, just uh, Stay, stay in it for a while uh, kasi yung perceived value mo once they see you as a you know uh, as, a, as a designer or a service provider for a very specific uh, niche is uh, mm -hmm. mas mataas yung perceived value mo kasi they will perceive you as an as a specialist because you have an, you have a focus all right yeah. Yeah. so uh, and that's where i you know uh, i started uh, looking for a niche na where i can uh, excel kasi when it comes to business uh, what i realize is uh, uh you have to play by your strength because it, it's a competition, right? So because when, when I was starting out, uh, I started as a full-stop web developer. So it's a whole back-end yung ginagawa ko, puro code. And when it comes to marketing, ang hirap yung market ng code kasi walang nakikita eh. Up front, right? <laughs> so di nila ma-appreciate. So kahit nasabihin mo, ito yung ginagawa ng code, it, it won't make sense. This is my client's um, perspective mo. Uh, so that's why I transitioned to ano, front-end sa my design kasi yung design is kind of uh, innate to me na. Uh, since uh, we were kids, maru uh, mahilig na talaga mag-drawing, right? Mm -hmm. Gumawa ng art uh, sa mm -hmm. may school. Ako na yung sinasabok palagi sa drawing contest, sa high school. Ako palagi pinapagawa ng mga project ng mga kaklase ko. Eh, hanggang sa, you know, hindi uh, ko na magawa yung project <laughs> para sarili ko, <laughs> right? Kasi binuburahan ko sila. No? Sige, libre mo ako ng, ano, ng, ng bawon. Ako nagagawa ng project mo. So, yun. And then, uh, kaya when I get into freelancing, uh, yung yung creative design as a service hindi naging appealing sa akin because uh, wala for me walang thrill eh all right kasi it's kind of a second nature na sa akin so mas nag-enjoy ako sa my code all right sa my back end so puro code talaga yun so i spend a lot of time coding minsan naabot na ako ng madaling araw uh, mataas pa rin yung energy ko kasi pag napapagaan ko yung code yan tong tuwa na ako noon so yeah, after a while so i realized na if i if i go into uh, do it as a business or at least treat it as a business i had to play by my strength okay so uh that's why uh i transitioned to sa my front end so i had to kasi yun yung competitive edge ko eh, yung yung uh -huh. visual in design so and then uh, i find uh uh i, I try to find a niche na kung saan ako pwedeng i-position yung service ko uh and then uh doon ko nakita uh yung i stumble upon yung coaching uh mm -hmm. coaching industry and uh, when I see mga coaching, right? Kasi yung, uh, yung pinaka-OG nila dyan, si Tony Robbins, eh, di ba? Yep. So, Tony Robbins, yan, sila Mel Robbins, uh, Gary V, uh, yan, Simon Sinek. Simon and Sinek. Uh, I check yung mga funnels nila, sales funnels, website. Sabi ko na, mga top leaders to, mga, ano to, mga, sila yung mga OG. Tapos, yung, yung website nila, yung branding nila, parang napaka-basic lang. Parang it doesn't make sense to me from uh, from the audience perspective na, yeah. uh, right? Di nag, there's something di nagmamatch. So that's why uh, dun, dun ako nakita ng opportunity na mag-design ng, uh, mag-provide ng service uh, na design at a premium level, high level, uh, custom design talaga so that na yung mga high ticket talaga is a uh, 
magkaroon sila ng ano ng, ng brand identity design talaga na talagang it really speaks for their uh, value yung service na yeah. binibigay nila and then for themselves right kasi ito okay, mga agents na right pero yung the way they present themselves on the marketplace visually is di ganun ka-appealing so medyo pare-parehas lang sila ng ano magkakamukha lang sila ng mga mga low class na mga coaches yung mga so that's why i get the opportunity na na ano uh, mag-design doon and uh sabi ng ganun uh, paano ako magkaroon ng portfolio kasi wala naman akong mga clients sa may na mga mga high ticket so uh one thing i learned is uh, you have you, just, you don't need to have no a uh, portfolio or you don't need a client to get a portfolio you just need to follow where the, where the attention goes mm-hmm. right so yung kaya yung ginawa kong strategy sa uh, instead na gumawa ako ng ano uh, design na basic lang uh, for high ticket coaches uh, i decided to find who their heroes are right mm-hmm. kasi uh, two pointers nila kasi kung uh, do, that's where they pay attention to eh, yun sa mga influencers nila eh. correct, so correct. that's why uh, i i look to you know, tony robbins website Tamra. right so Tamra. then yun yung una-una kong ginawa ng redesign concept so if i would work for tony robbins paano ko to papaganda yung um, uh, website ano uh, correct Oh, so yung ginawa ko ng redesign concept yon and then uh, pinost ko sa may uh, social media o tapos sa may portfolio ko sa may Behance then that were ano started uh, gaining ano attention talaga ng mga high uh, that's why yun yung isa sa mga tinuturo ko sa mga estudyante ko na uh, pagdating sa may creative selling creative services uh, uh, you don't need to be a salesman or a good marketer okay You just need to show what they want to see. Okay? Follow where attention goes and then show what they want to see, say what they want to hear. Okay? And the keyword then is the want. Okay? What they want to hear and see, not what they need. Okay? Kasi if you say what they need, most of the time it hears like work sa kanila. It, it sounds like expense sa kanila. So for me, that's where I kind of play yung, uh, yung perception management game. We are sa may ano. That's why... Um, I, I see kung sino yung mga influencer nila, then I would create something really uh, high quality design just to get their attention and get them interested to talk to me. And when they talk to me, that's when I explain what it takes to get that ano, uh, per- high perceived value. Doon ko na explain yung need. Then, kasi nasold na sila doon sa my concept na, you know, yung high perceived value. So, doon ako nag-start talaga. And then, uh, and, uh, you know, Actually, your name, what, what you're right? saying here, Uh, what, what, what you're explaining, ang galing, kasi I also, there's this, um, if I have my coaches kasi, basa, there's this, uh, one, for example, one session that we talk on that, eh, parang making, ano, making your your needs a want. Kasi mm-hmm. human kasi, or pitayo, when, whenever, whenever we have the wants, yun yung prioritize natin. Eh. Kaya, yeah. kaya di ba sometimes, um, you don't buy this, the needs, pero you want to buy an exactly. iPhone 14. Yeah. Ginagawa mo ng paraan para makabili ka ng iPhone 14. So whatever that is. Pero yun, kaya nga sabi sila, yun yung, yun yung sabi sa coaches ko na parang, if you want to have a certain goal in your life, you want to transition to something, make it your want. I know I know the need is, uh, the need is something that parang ano yan eh, parang important, but hindi eh. Human, ano kasi, human notion is, Once you make it a want, that's the time that you're gonna do it, or you're gonna do. Yeah. Parang you're gonna take take that ano take that um activity or whatever whatever it takes in order to reach that or get that that want that you want that you need exactly. uh, that actually you need. Parang kaya you make it a want. How about yeah. you, Pichi? How, how how did you land it sa ano mo sa niche mo? Um, malawa. Uh, actually, parang before kasi. Uh, I started na parang I don't have any specific niche. So, I jumped from one thing mm-hmm. to, a, to the other and realized, gaya na nasabi ni Sir Paul, na if you're going to put yourself out there, mahihirapan ka. So, yun. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of brand strategy and design kasi, um, hindi ko siya alam before. What I knew before was just designing logos. So, yun nga, mm-hmm. gaya na sabi ni... Uh, Sir Paul, kasi design, parang ginagawa mo siya for the, for the longest time. Tapos, nung ginawa ko na siya, 
ah, ito lang ba? Ito lang yung gagawin ko. Parang I don't see the value of the logo. Parang wala siyang result eh. If mm. you're going to just put in yung design, design lang. Walang result na nabibigay kay client. Parang na, napapaisip ako. Ano ba yung quick win? Wala akong quick win na naibibigay. Wala akong clarity na nabibigay. So then I research and then I realized that my brand strategy pala. So yun pala yung pinaka-integral part yeah. in creating a brand that I didn't know that time. So yun, after knowing that, after mm-hmm. after in-integrate ko yun, I, I, I joined, um, I enrolled myself to courses, uh, foreign courses to be able to uh, get the gist kung ano ba, at ano bang ginagawa with brand strategy. Mm-hmm. And from then on, I was getting na uh, premium clients. But in terms of to the specific market that I'm catering, um, I jump from one thing to the other then. But it all revolved around health and wellness. Kasi nga, coming from the um, medical industry, I felt the need to, like, parang you need to encourage people, enlighten people the need of these products. How it can help them in their daily lives. Kasi, um, uh, what I realized kasi back then when I'm still a paramedic that yung mga tao, uh, dyan na sila umiinom ng gamot, dyan na sila nag-exercise, dyan sila nag-take care with their health if my problem na sila, if they're having health problems already. So I was thinking that if I'm going to push through with this market, I wanted uh, the audience na they would be able to feel the importance of their health para sa sarili nila. So yeah, that's why I stick to that um Anish, then, yun na. Wala na. Wala na siyang, uh, hindi, I didn't transfer to any niche. Na. So, I stick to that niche already. So, yeah. Um, actually, nasabi na kasi lahat ni Sir Paul, eh. So, wala na ako yeah. masyado masabi. So, then, yeah. Yun lang. If you're still starting out with healing yeah. thing. I like, I like, I don't know. I like what, what you said, Pichi, no? Parang, you enrolled to foreign courses. So what he did actually there is you invested in yourself. Yeah, so I, parang yeah. ba, parang mas 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 maging mas mm-hmm. uh, mas increase yung value mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi mm-hmm. ano yan eh, parang you increase your self-worth as long as you increase also your knowledge and wisdom. And that's what you did. Yeah. So you you ano, you you in, you enrolled in ano in foreign courses nga and that that also ano shoot up your value as a person, di ba? Siyempre, yeah. confident ka na. May alam kang bago, eh, di ba? That you can mm-hmm. share to others. That's great. Grabe, guys. Alam nyo ba, one hour na tayo. <laughs> Ganun kabilis, di ba? Ay ko nga sa inyo, um, backstage a while ago, para lang tayo magkwekwentuhan. Yan. Bitten. Correct. Bitten. Tamang word yon Paul. So, yeah, that, so habi ko nga, um, but of course, before we let you go, no, um, siyempre, hihingi muna kami ng mga winning words, mga words of wisdom coming from you about yon uh, about value okay self value and self worth that we can share to our audience so this time balik tayo Paul sa ano beauty before the beast so of course si Pichi naman and after Pichi you can also promote yung ano um, yung ano mo yung social media platforms okay. mo so that they would uh, our audience would know how to connect with you okay so the beauty Pichi Okay, so one thing that I realized this year, oh, may pa ganun, kasi I haven't done this yeah. before, is I didn't took care of myself. So one thing mm-hmm. na you can perceive yung value na gusto mo maging premium ka is you start with your mindset. You start with yourself. If you're not trusting or believing yourself na kaya mo to price premium or kaya mo to deliver everything, then it will fall, all fall back into you. So, yun yung mm-hmm. pinaka-important thing. You need to invest in yourself. Invest, invest, invest. Consume, consume, consume. And then, mm-hmm. execute. Yun lang. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to uh, endorse my Instagram accounts. So, you can follow me at Instagram.com slash Jerlinia Galgo. G-E-R-L-Y-N-N-I-A Galgo. And for our agency, you can follow us as Instagram dot slash go dot Creative. And yeah, that's it. Sir Paul. Sir Paul. Yeah. Galing. Yeah. Uh, ano ba? Words of wisdom? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mar- I'm well, sure uh, marami. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll speak dun sa ano. Uh, directly dun sa mga 
Hindi simula pa lang. Uh, pag sa may freelance. Maybe do, doon sa mga medyo matatagal. Uh, so, kasi one thing na pinaka uh, rule for me uh, is to enjoy the process. Okay? okay. Uh, kasi uh, when it comes to building a business, uh, it's gonna be really tough. There are always a lot of uh, times na talagang uh, you will be uh, tawag nito, uh, you, you will be pushed beyond your limit. Okay, na, and if you don't enjoy what you're doing, uh, you can only go too far. Alright? So, uh, and uh, one thing that I really believe in is uh, uh, there's so many paths to success. Okay? So, uh, I don't buy yung mga kung ano yung sinasabi ng mga guru, okay, you have to test it for yourself, okay, uh, na sinasabi na, this is the way to financial freedom, this is the thing that you should do, okay, and uh, for me, uh, that doesn't make sense, okay, how did you know, do you have uh, any uh, scientific data or uh, have you done any uh, rigorous research to do it, so if you're gonna talk about from from your own experience, uh, that's subjective, okay, so uh, you cannot, uh, it may work for you, but not for other people, right? So for me, if the the the, the thing that you're na na narinig ko from courses, from trainings, uh, doesn't uh, work for me personally, mm-hmm. then I'll find another way to get to the same goal, right? So uh, I I will find a process that what that I will enjoy, okay? Because yes. um, the the path to success is very long, all right? So uh, I don't want a way to be successful to to get successful before I enjoy life. Right, okay. Okay. being successful, uh, it would only feel good for a while, and then after that, you, you're back in the game. All right, so I want to make sure that every day that I do is something that I enjoy, I find meaning in doing it. All right, even if it would take me longer than what are people, I don't care as long as I enjoy mm-hmm. life because life is too short, right? I don't have to wait yeah. before I get rich to enjoy life. So, as much as possible, uh, I enjoy the the process, uh, uh, the things involved there is you know, I. Uh, giving back to community, teaching people that which what I do right now uh, and I'm focusing right now, uh, training those uh, uh, designers who want to level up their design uh, to uh, to world class and uh, charge premium. So and also you uh, become a better uh, version of yourself, uh, not only uh, skill wise, but also in your uh, personal life more spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Right, so uh, that's why yun yung isa sa mga uh, benefit na nawa ko uh, when I focus on my niche, which is yung mga high ticket coaches. Kasi I'm a big fan mm-hmm. of personal development. Okay, so uh, aside from the yung yung service that uh, na binabayar nila uh, when I work with them, I also get a benefit yung sa may co- mga content nila. I also have a chance to talk to mm-hmm. them, get their, get their insights about uh, life about other things you know and now play goes uh in my life personally so uh it's kind of uh i'm hitting two birds in one stone so uh yeah, that's what i so what uh, to do if you if you want to uh focus in one niche uh, make sure na uh you do it for multiple uh purpose uh, as much as possible and make sure that talagang you're passionate about okay because uh uh you can be you can focus in one niche and i uh, you're not really passionate about, but don't stay in there, okay? Make it kung kailangan mo, kung uh, kailangan mo ng uh, quick uh, buck or, uh, you know, uh, money now, then do it uh, just to survive. And when you have enough, just uh, focus on what you really want to serve talaga. Because uh, that's yeah. what, what's going to keep you in the game for for a very long time and, you know, uh, excel talaga uh, really fast because uh, you're really in it. You're not working in, in it for just the money. But also, you want to help the community, help the space, and uh, you're getting benefit out of it, not just uh, monetarily, but also yung ano, uh, personal development. So, uh, yeah, so enjoy the process. That's the biggest thing for me. Um, yeah. And if you want to connect with me, just uh, connect me uh, on any social media platforms. Uh, just username ko, P. Guetan. All right. So, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Pinterest wherever uh and then uh if you are a creative designer and you want to level up your uh design skill and be able to charge uh premium 10x your perceived value uh 
I enjoy uh, I invite you to ano uh, to join my next batch of uh, premium design masters uh this uh, upcoming uh, January. So uh, you can go to premiumdesignmasters.com uh, to sign up for waitlist. Uh, it's going to be uh, intensive 21 day training live. Okay, live on live. So it's right. going to be really really intense. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Paul, for sharing those words of wisdom. No? And also, Pichi, so maraming, maraming, maraming salamat. I know it's still the, it's the holidays, pero pinaunlakan nyo ang Win Within on TNC. So before we no let problem. you go, medyo Win Within post muna tayo with the Win Within sign. Yan. So ganito lang ulit. Money na ulit, na joke lang. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yan. Picture lang tayo. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yun. So again, Paul and Pichi, thank you, thank you very much for guesting. So hope to see you soon. Mga event natin sa, sa tribe. And also, yan, pag nagawi tayo ng uh, Cebu kay Pichi, baka oh, magpapa yeah. Cebu. <laughs> Go! Just let me know. Okay. Sige, okay. Sige, thank you, thank you very much again. Okay? And have a happy, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye.